So I don't have a load balancer. I selected attach to a new load balancer. Then I selected that it's to be a application load balancer. Then I gave the load balancer name and then the load balancer should be internet facing. And the, in that uh, where it has to route the traffic is the instances which will be created only on this subnets, right? Next, I don't have a target group. So I am creating a target group. So here I'm going to create a target group. I just selected create a target group. So it allowed to create a new target group, just its name. The everything will be default, default settings. If you want, uh, it will list here in the target groups. You can go and change in the future. But one thing you have to remember, if you have created a not here, means if you have created a target group here, you need to give all the details, target group name, health check, everything you can create. But the problem is here is the, not the problem. The thing you have to remember here is you should not register any targets because you don't know what is going to be the instance. The two instances, 330, maybe 32, it can scale down to. 20 10 to uh, 20 to 10 like that right so it is going to scale down or scale up automatically you don't know number of instances you so you should not register any targets to the target group right so here i created now here health check health check of the instances right it is showing as optional you can do health check this is an interview question also you can remember go on mute i don't want to tell this again and again so whenever doing the health checks you remember one thing health check can be done for easy to instances means so you, you already know in the in the uh, when we are discussing about normal load balancer to uh, instance routing right no, normal load balancing so i said health check so it is going to check the uh, it is going to do the health check of the instances if any of the instances is not healthy it is not going to route the traffic to that instance only to the healthy instances it is going to route the load balancer is going to route see easy to auto scaling automatically replaces instances that fail health checks so we all know that right auto scaling automatically going to create a new instances new instance if there is any failed instance if you enable load balancing you can enable elb health checks in addition to the ec2 instance health check that are always enabled right ec2 health check will be do done automatically if you want to do the health check of load balancer itself not only EC2 instance health check, I want to do the health check of load balance, my load balancer also. In that case, you can select this. If you don't want, hey, my load balancer will be running always. I don't want to do health check for my load balancer. I'll do health check of only instances. If instance is not running, uh, auto scaling will create one more instance, right? You, you no need to select this. If you want to do the health check of load balancer as well, then you can select this. And a grace period, health check grace period. So. This is the initial amount, the amount of the time, the amount of time until easy to auto scaling performs the health check on new instances after they are put into service, right? So once an easy to instance is created, once an immediate easy to instance has been created, it may need to do some operations. It may need to do few operations, right? So immediately it will not start doing the health check. Once an instance, see, the amount of time until easy to auto scaling group performs the first health check on the new instances after they are put into service means once auto scaling group creates an instance easy to instance immediately it will not do health check we have to give some time because the instance should come up maybe it may need to have some software see we installed whatever the launch configuration in that we selected an ami right in the as per that ami once an EC2 instance is created, it need to create a HTTPD server. It need to install PHP, right? So it has some steps to do, right? So you need to, once an EC auto scaling creates an EC2 instance, we need to give some time for that instance to, uh, to settle down. So this is the time we have to give 300 seconds. So we doesn't need that much. As of now, we can give 100 seconds. Means almost two minutes, let's give 120 seconds, two minutes. It's more than enough, right? So it will do that. For example, if it gives zero seconds here, what will happen is your instance will come up, automatically start do health checking. Your HTTP server is not yet ready. It started doing health check. Health check is failing. It will consider that instance is unhealthy. So such issues will get into. So we need to give some time. So enable group metrics collection with CloudWatch. So if you want to allow metrics, uh, uh, CloudWatch metrics collection, right? You can set up this. We don't know CloudWatch yet. Let's ignore for this. If you want to enable CloudWatch, right? A metrics collection, you can enable this. Okay. 
next, this is amount of the CloudWatch metrics. Okay, this is related to that warm up instance warm up. So next, click on next. This is the one I was talking about. Group size. So this is the configuration you are going to give to your EC2 instance. Always, how many instances should be running? Two instances. Minimum of how many instances should be there, right? So this should be. See, if we give like this two one here, it will not take. Desired state and minimum should be equal, or else minimum state should be more than desired state, else it will not allow. So let me give both. Two. So maximum state as ten, I am going to give, or five, for example. So what does this mean? Desired two means at any cost. Two instances should be running. If more than two are running, no problem. But at least two instances should be running and attached to my load balancer. Two instances should be running. So now, if the load of the two instances is high, I need to scale them plus one plus one like that, maximum of five. So if the two instances are unable to handle the load, I want to add one more instance. Again, the the three instances are unable to had, handle the load. I want to add fourth instance. If again the four instances are unable to handle the load, I want to add the fifth instance. But after five, I am not going to add maximum five. And five instances are created; they are able to handle the load. Now the load has reduced. Now the load has reduced. Auto scaling will terminate one instance. So fifth instance is terminated. Four instances. Again, the load is very low. I want to terminate the fourth one. Three are there. The load is very low. I want to terminate one more. Three. Now two load is very less. Now I want to terminate the second one. It will not terminate. Why? Because you gave the minimum as two, and desired always two should be running, right? Minimum two, right? Maximum ten. So the scale up and scale down will happen only from two to five and five to two. That's it. But at any cost, two instances should be running. Either you are going with if there are five instances running, no problem. Two are running, right? Three extra are running. It will not bother. But at any cost, two are running. So what will happen? What will happen in case if there are two instances, one got terminated due to some issue. What it will do? It will create one more. Why? Because desired state you give two, but only one is running. So to match the desired state, desired state is two. Actual is one. So it is the desired actual is not matching. So it will create one more instance and make sure always two instances are running. Understood, guys? <coughs> yes or no? Yes, sir. Now, what if I give one here? Is there any difference between this creating auto scaling group, right, with one desired one, mini one, one, maximum one, and creating normal instance? Normally, I'll create one instance. How we launch instance, right? Normally, from the launch instance option, right? We are going to create an instance, right? So I'll create an instance like this. One instance. Is there any dif difference between launching an instance like this? And launching an instance like this, any difference, or both are same? Any difference is there? Both are same. Launching single instance. Here also we are launching single instance. Here also we are launching. Both are same. No difference at all. Think. Uh, is there? I think uh, because here we are giving maybe. Uh, the maximum and minimum, how many it should be run? There we are giving only to create. I think. Ah, oh, that's fine. There we are giving to create instant, but here uh, we are uh, saying that this many should allow or this many should uh, present at a uh, running time. But no difference, right? Minimum, maximum, only one I am giving. Here all over one. That is not correct. Same here also minimum, maximum one only I am giving. Here also yeah. maximum one I am giving. The difference is if we create an instance like this, if someone terminates this or accidentally if this gets terminated, is there anyone to recreate it? No. But if you create an instance like this, what is the state you are giving? Desired state as one. So always make sure such type of in the whatever you have given the launch configuration that such type of instance is running. If by accidentally or wantonly someone removes that instance, automatically it will create one more because the desired state is max is one, actual state is zero. Not matching, so it will create always. It will make sure one instance is running here. But here, if it terminate an instance, that's it, gone. No one will be there to automatically recreate it. But here, it will be recreated. Understood? So, no, yes. Yes, sir. 
It's true. Okay. Now if I'm going to create like this. So desired state is to minimum to maximum five. Now on what basis minimum is two, desired is two. So first it will launch two instances. Desired state you are giving two, right? So it will launch two instances. If the desired, the two instances are unable to handle the load, it has you need to create few more instances till five. But on what basis? So initially two will be created. On what basis the third, fourth, fifth instances will be created? Is this is there are different scaling policies. There are different scaling policies. Choose whether to use a scaling policy to dynamically resize your auto scaling groups to meet changes in demand. Means if you don't select this, no tracking policy, always desired will be running. All right. If you want to select a policy, you need to select this target tracking policy. Okay, there is one policy called as target tracking scaling policy. Target tracking policy we call as target tracking policy. So what it to do is initially how many instances will be created is two. Two. So I need to track the two instances. Target is what here two instances. The instances which are created by desired capacity. So auto scale in group initially it is going to create two instances. Those are going to be my target. Target tracking policy. Target tracking policy. The two instances, whatever here launched, right? Those are my targets. I am I am going to track my targets. Right? Based on what you want to track. Here there are. Right? This is the name of the policy, target tracking. You can give any name here. So what you want to track? I want to track based on average seat utilization, average network. Right, application load balancer request means how many requests load balancer is sending to the instances based on number of instances, application load balancer request per target, right? But each instance, how many requests are coming from load balancer? For example, these are the two instances, the desired state two are there, right? These are the instances it created. This is my load balancer. So this load balancer will receive some requests, user requests. It is going to route the traffic between this, right? How many requests are coming to each instance? How many requests? So if I access 1000, 1000 requests are coming to the load balancer. For example, 500 are going to the in instance one, 500 are going to instance two. So I can track like this. If the application load balancer request count to per target, means for each instance, if the load balancer is routing the traffic, this in this routing request, right? If the load balancer is routing number of right target, okay, target value is 50 means if 500, for example, each instance is getting 500 requests, right? Like this, we can track different things. So let me show you CPU utilization for CPU utilization. Average CPU utilization. If the average CPU utilization of all the instances, both the instances, right? If average CPU utilization of the two instances is more than 70%, right? You need to create one more instance. You need to create one more instance. So if the average CPU utilization of these two instances is more than 70%, then this is a tar target tracking policy. I'm going to track the targets and check metrics. The average CPU utilization of these two instances is more than 70%. Then I want to launch the second instance. So desired a minimum two are there. I want to create third instance. Again, for example, here the CPU relation is more than 70%. It created the third instance and attached this. Now again, it will not keep calm. Again, it keeps checking. What is the average CPU? It will keep tracking your targets. Now target earlier targets were two. Now targets are three. Now it will check the average CPU relation of these instances is 50%. Okay, it will keep calm. Again, after some time, it will go and check. What is the average CPU relation? 70%. Oh my God, the condition is matched. Let me go and create one more instance and attach this. Again, after that, it will keep going and checking the average CPU relation. It checks. Okay, it is below 70%, it will keep calm. Whenever it goes more than 70%, it is going to create one more instance because the maximum size we have given five. Till five, it will keep adding. But now, the average CPU relation is more than 70%. It will not add the sixth instance. Why? Because the maximum we gave us seven is five. Till five, it can create. Now, this is about scale up, right? Creating number of instances. To reduce number of instances, we'll do later. But now this is the option. So now I'm doing the average CPU utilization. I want to track. Remember this target tracking policy. 
this we need to do in real time and also in interviews also they ask so on what basis you are going to scale your instances based on target tracking policy so i'm going to use on what basis what target means what you scale on what type of metrics you used in the target scaling policy cp utilization right on the average cp utilization is more than 70 percent we can do this i want to do it based on ramp you cannot do it there are other ways we'll see that later okay so now this next there is one option uh, here disable scale in scale in to create only a scale out policy disable scale in to create only a scale out policy means it is asking scale out means what here you have to remember two things scale out means what is scale out means adding number of instances two instances are there i want to scale out to three the load balancing of two is less uh, means uh, the load balancing of two instances this two is very high it is unable to handle i want a third uh, based on the target tracking policy it found that cp utilization of these two instances averages more than 70 percent i want to scale out to third instance scale out to fourth instance scale out to fifteenth. so scale out means adding number of instances scale in means the cp utilization is less i want to remove one instance this is scale in scale in scale in so, so what does mean by scale out adding number of instances scale in means reducing number of instances understood guys Yes or no? Yeah, but this depends on uh, the above value what we have given, right? Uh, yes. The, yes. Uh, yes. Initially, three values we have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sir, uh, sir, I have one doubt. Maybe uh, please, ask right ask uh, please ask at the end. Please yeah. ask at the end. Please ask at the end. Questions. If you have yeah, anything yes. related to this, you can ask. But later, other things you can ask at the end. Yeah, this is related to this one only. See, uh, once yes. we got user request and uh, load balancer. How okay. it is sending, sir? Is there any based on the priority, or for example, we have three instances, uh, three instances, and you one I already there, explained. Uh, you, four. Wait, 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 wait. You already missed a lot of classes. I think this is your first class, right? We discussed yeah, yeah, a yeah. Okay. we discussed a lot. So you are missing so many classes, so you'll not understand this. I cannot explain everything for you. I'll share the recording. If you if you want, you can watch that. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. So you have you missed almost five classes. I'm helpless on that. Okay. okay? Yeah, okay. yeah, no issues. So here, if you want to stop scaling, means I don't want scale in. Means once I scale out, means I created the, once I scale out one instance, right? I don't want to terminate it again. So scale in protection, I want scale in. I want to disable. Means reducing the number of instances, I want to disable. So whenever I created three instances, whether my load is high or less, I don't bother. The third instance should be running again. Once it, a fourth instance is created always it should be running so number of instances scale out happens again scale in should not happen in such cases you can select this right but i don't want that scale in also should happen because when the load is less i want to terminate few instances so that i'll save my costing so you can uncheck this option okay next enable instance scale in protection so it protects from scale in is enabled Newly launched instances will be protected from scale in by default. Similar like this, similar like this, right? So next, scale in protection means a newly launched instance will be protected from scale in by default. Means the newly launched instance will not be terminated. Okay. Now means if you select this, you cannot create a scale in policy. Now how this is scale out policy? This is a scale out policy. This is a scale out policy. For scale in, we have to create one more. Here there is no scale in. We have to create in the other other step. We have to create, but there is no scale in here. If you select this option, you will not get that scale in option. You need to how we are creating based on if the CPU utilization is seventy percent. I want to add one more instance. So for scale in also you need to create. If the average CPU utilization is less than fifty percent, I want to terminate one instance. Like that you need to create a scale in policy. So if you select this, it will not show that scale in policy. This is for protection instance protection this is for scale in policy if you don't want to get that scale in policy right how we are creating that if the average cp utilization is less than 70 50 percent i want to terminate one instance how you created for in scale out right scale in also you have to create in the next steps so if you don't want to get that option you need to disable this but this is for the instance whatever i explained right if an instance is created if an instance is created i don't want to terminate that instance so scale out only possible 
what are the instances created in scale out those instances should not be deleted in scale in policy so in such case you can delete in scale select this but i want to save my costing because i want to terminate my instances whenever my scaling is uh, whenever the load is very less i want to do scale in as well and terminate the instances to save my cost so in such case you can disable this but if you don't want that you want your instances always running you can select this option next sns topics so this is notification whenever an instance is deleted or terminated right i want to send a email notification or sms notification so in that case we can do this add notification do you have sns topic no let me create a topic here so what is the topic name is my sns topic for example so email is uh, i said i deleted all the things right okay kc technologies devops at gmail.com so when you want to send a notification when you want to send a notification use an existing topic if you already have a topic you can create it for example let's go and create it here otherwise right? if, if not you can uh, anyways the same thing here right you know how to create a sns topic so it is there in the previous videos you can see that if you have missed yesterday's session so sns topic name which is the who with the with this recipient who are going to be my recipients now when it has to send a notification to this email my auto scaling group when it has to this uh, uh, auto scaling group when it has to send a notification to this email id whenever a new instance is launched whenever an instance is terminated whenever my auto scaling in few cases it may fail to launch an instance because something is missing it is unable to fail for example i created this launch configuration then i deleted in my ami so in the auto uh, uh, launch configuration i gave ami but due to some issue i deleted somehow i deleted my ami example i am saying so in that case it failed to launch an instance so like failed to terminate an instance so whenever a new instance is launched whenever an instance is terminated or else like whenever launching an instance if it failed to launch that instance or else while terminating it fails to terminate an instance it will send an email notification to this for example in the midnight it, so there are two desired states two instances are there i gave maximum as 5 so cpu utilization is 70% uh, based on my matrix uh, target tracking policy i gave cpu utilization average cpu utilization 70% yes it reached in the midnight the average cpu utilization reached 70% it create the third instance so at whenever it creating the third instance it will send an email notification to me again in the morning load is very less right scale in policy happened it removed the third instances whenever it removed the third instance it will send that. i desired state two instances are there i terminated one whenever i terminate an instance it will send a notification to me so as per the desired state two should be running but i deleted one only one is running it will launch a new instance so then also it will send an email notification to me so in which cases you want on which event types you can select whatever you want i want all four next right so i am going to add tax tax i am ignoring i am not giving any steps this review so what and all the steps this is a auto scaling group this is a launch configuration i have given this is my vpc i selected these are the subnets right this is the load balancer i selected so ec2 one healthy uh, grace period i gave as 120 seconds monitoring disabled this is a group size i gave desired minimum maximum right so these are target tracking policies as as required to maintain average cpu utilization at 70% so these are the things add or remove capacity units as required so it is going to take both the actions add or remove both it is going to do if the average cpu utilization more than 70% it will create one instance if it is less than that it is going to remove one instance both uh, uh, scale out and scale in both are you, it is going to do. if you want you can modify these settings later but uh, it is going to do both add and remove okay add and remove capacity units as required so if it requires one instance it will create one if it is required two it will create two if you want to terminate one it will turn automatically it will check out earlier we used to give either it has to add one or two it has to terminate one or two three like that but it is going as per the requirement now it is automated it is going to do automatically notification these things right so next create auto scaling group done now you observe how many instances are there in our north virginia region guys only one is there the name of that is original instance and this auto scaling group is region specific or global region specific okay 
region specific. So where it will create the instances now? So see here, state is updating capacity, something it is doing. So what is the desired state you give? Two. So it is trying to create two instances. If I refresh here, you can see automatically, see, it started creating two instances. Why? Because in the auto scaling group, you give two as the desired state. It is going to create two instances with that custom AMI, my AMI. And that security group, M file, whatever we have given, right? With those details, it is going to create these instances. Understood? So it is saying the old console is not there. New support, this, these are just warning, uh, just uh, not warnings also, uh, just information. The old screen is not available like that. It's saying. So it is saying my auto scaling group, one scaling policy, one SNS topic, one subscription, one notification, right? One load balancer, one target group, one listener created successfully. One new target group has been attached to attend scaling group. So the target group, whatever has we created, it has been attached to auto scaling group. These and all has been created now with single shot. It created everything. Now see this. So instances, how many instances? This auto scaling group, auto scaling group is using this auto scaling launch configuration. It has created two instances. The settings, what we have given is two desired state, two desired, two actual, both are matching minimum to maximum five. And it has been created in this US East one A and the other availability zones. Okay. Now let's see this. So this has been created initializing. So now let me take my load balancer. It has created only one load balancer we have, right? That is created by auto scaling group. So it is provisioning. It is just creating. It is still, it is provisioning. It will take some time. By the time it provisions, let me go to SNS. Simple notification service. So one topic it has, right? Let me go to this topics. It has one, right? So this is the, right? So it has created one subscription, pending subscription. I need to confirm that subscription. I'll go here, refresh it. So it has sent for confirmation. I'm going to, that means I need to accept that. It will not send the emails automatically. You need, it will send a confirmation if, uh, email. If you accept that, I accepted it now. Now if I go here, so I accepted it, right? So let me refresh it. Is that? Let me go come back. Go to topics. So here it is showing confirm. So I confirm. I accepted. Yes, I can receive emails from this topic, right? So I confirmed it now. Without confirming, it will not send any emails. So now it is confirmed. It is active. Let me take the load balancer URL. Try to hit this. You observe it is not working. Oh, it worked. It means 120 seconds happened, right? So it means that uh, health check or all it has done, right? The default settings. Now, if you go here, if you see the IP address. So, what is the thing it is using? You see here, what is the newly launched instances? Let me go here. So these two instances are there, right? So the IP address of this here is 3651. Sorry, 3651. See, is it routing the traffic to this instance? One instance, 3651. Now what I'll do, I'll hit that load balancer again. It has to go 3651. You remember 5171. One is 51. One is 51 at the end. One is 7-1 at the end. Now you see here, I'm going to hit this. So 5-1, 7-1. Is it load? Is it doing the load balancing, guys? Yes, sir. 5-1, 7-1 between the instances. Is it doing? Understood? Yes, so it has created load balancing, auto scaling, everything has happened. Now what I'll do is, there are some ways to increase your average CPU, CPU utilization. We, if we can run some commands, stress commands are there. If you run that, uh, it will increase an average CPU utilization to more than 70%. Then automatically AWS uh, auto scaling group will launch the third instance. But I'm not going to do that, but I'll show one way. What I'll do is I'll terminate this instance. So let me do one thing. I'll name it as one. I'll name it as one. 
and name it as two. See here, yeah? I'll terminate this second instance. Two is there, right? I'll terminate this. What is the desired state we give? How many? What is the count desired state we give? Two, right? Two. I'm going to terminate this. You observe this now. So as it is shutting down, AWS that auto scaling will not create the third instance immediately. It will not create immediately. It will give some time for that to come up. It will check maybe this instance is down for some issue. Let me wait for a couple of minutes or few seconds and see whether it will come back or not. Within that time, if it is not coming up, then it will launch the third instance. See, it is shutting down. Immediately, the third instance, it is not creating. This is the original instance, what we created for uh, that custom AMI. Now it has terminated. So these two are, these two has been launched by auto scaling. These two has been launched by auto scaling. It has terminated. Immediately after that, our auto scaling group is not creating the third instance. We'll wait for some time. It will check. It may come up. It will have some hope. Right? We'll wait for some time. Now it haven't came up. Then it started creating the third instance. Have you understood? Have you observed now? Immediately after terminating or shutting down, it has not created. It waited for some time. Still, it haven't came up. It confirmed that that instance is not going to come up. Then it created the third instance automatically. Understood, guys? It's true. Okay. So even if you use the stress commands or else in real time, if the CPU relation goes more than 70% based on that, it will increase that. If it is goes down, it will scale in. It will terminate the instances. So now the instance is ready. Right? It will let's give some 120 warm up seconds we give. Right? Now what I'll do is I'll hit the load balancer. You see the IP address of 90. At the end is 90. This one is 71. Now I'll try to hit this. 71. See, it is not going to 90. It is not going to 90. Always 71. Why? Because the instance which is terminated has 51. That is unhealthy. It skipped. And in place of that, the third instance came. The third instance came. It needs some warm up time. We give two minutes, right? To warm up. It needs to get the HTTP server, all the things, right? So it needs warm up time. So till that time, it is not going to route the traffic to the third instance. So what is the only healthy instance as of now? This is the one. So it is going to route the traffic, all the traffic to that only. Once that warm up is done, see, now it is routing. So far, I hit almost 10 times, right? It was routing to only 71. Now the instances came up and the warm up, everything is done, right? It is healthy. It found the health stack is done. It found that instance is healthy. Now it is routing the traffic to the both the instances. 90 here, you observe 90. Okay, slowly it will route there and here. It will check, wait. Sometimes the other instance might be busy or in such cases, it is going to route to only one instance. Uh, see here, 71. 71 equal sometimes it there is no guarantee right one request will go to 71 the second will go to 90 not like that few there few here like that based on the availability uh, capacity it is going to decide there will be some sticky also okay so 71 all the requests continuously go into 71 oh my god continuously 71 you have seen right 90 also it went if you try again okay. so many requests to 70. Mm -hmm. let me see the instances are running fine yes fine. let me hit in the other browser okay it will go you have seen right 90 something somehow Maybe the instance is available with the good resources. So it is routing there only. Seventy one. Now ninety. So is it routing between the instances? Have you seen? Yes. Okay. Like this, we have to implement that auto of scaling. So if you terminate an instance also, it will create one more. Now, all the requests are going to 90. For some time, it will send to 90 again to 71. So can you all do this? Can you all do so this? I have one doubt here. Yes. Uh, we used actually maximum capacity fire, right? Huh. So CP, CP, uh, 70%, right? 
so uh, in that five uh, it's that uh, cpu utilization exceeds so 70% more than means uh, we required one more uh, instance right that time hmm. how it will work what i said i already said this i already answered this if the, it already created five instances max i gave as five now it found the average cpu utilization of the five instances is more than 70% then what will happen guys a thing will happen it will keep quiet auto scaling cannot do anything you give maximum 5 so it will keep quiet so next time uh, if that means in that case it will go slow it will crash again so you have to identify that you will have metrics okay in if it is going if it is if it is going to happen regularly then you have to find it out and then what you have to do you have to increase that from 5 to 10 or 7 where whatever you require but if you have given 5 and still the average utilization is more than 70% auto scaling will not do anything it will keep quiet your servers will get more than 80% 90% they'll get hanged also no it is not going to bother because you give maximum 5 it it will happen till 5 only okay scale out will happen till 5 now we terminated an instance created an instance see here termination of this so we terminated one instance so it is it has sent one email AWS auto scaling, right? What is the service? Is AWS auto scaling has sent one email from this account. This is going to be my AWS account, right? For that account number, right? So something Where is that here? Here, uh, account ID, right? So now it is going to scale my auto scaling group, which it has sent is auto scaling group. This is a ARN active ID description. Terminating EC2 instance. That instance ID also double two, right? Let me check if that instance is there. instance id is see this 422 422 that instance has been terminated cause utter an instance was taken out of service in response to an ec2 health check indicating it has been terminated or stopped so it is saying so the instance has been taken out of service means from running state it has taken out either it is terminated or stopped right so when the instance has started is the instance is started at this time and ended at this time start so this is going to send like this so which subnet so these are going to be destination is it instance like this and all it is going to send you an email notification whenever you terminate an instance understood guys for launch also you had to add, it has to send i haven't received yet understood is it clear yes sir Okay, you can have notifications also. If you don't want notifications, that is optional. You can ignore. But you can see, you can see the details. See, what it has created one target group, right? You can go here. This is my target group. So this is I created manually just to show you people. So let me delete this. This is the one which is used by that at launch configuration. If you want to change the details, right? Uh, edit health check settings. If you want to do the health checks, so you do something. Sorry, this is the default health check details. it has taken right we know right whenever we create target group it has default health check details if you want to change something it has created with default details if you want to modify few thing you can modify from here you can modify from here okay next uh load balancer it has created one load balancer so if you want to do some changes related to that edit subnet edit ip address edit security groups whatever you want to edit you can edit here right next this launch configuration now remember one thing here this launch configuration is there you cannot edit this you cannot edit this i want to la 